My name is Ken Schroeder. My name is Willis Fennell. I'm Oscar Musman. I'm 87 years old. My name is Art Hillman. I'm 86 years old. And I played right halfback on the 1943 Deschler undefeated, untied, unscored upon football team. Rule 11, Section 2, Article 1 of the Rules of Football states a team will receive six points for a touchdown, three for a field goal, and two for a safety. But for the 1943 Deschler Dragons, that rule was irrelevant. We knew that we were going to do the best that we could, and uh, the best that we could uh, turned out to that we were undefeated, untied, and unscored on. It started on September 24, 1943. The Dragons storming to a 43 to nothing win over Nelson in front of a packed crowd at Deschler Community Field. Back-to-back 19-to-nothing -back wins brought the season total to 81 points scored, none allowed. Deschler would have no trouble traveling to Red Cloud, coasting to a 25-to-0 win. With just three games left and no points allowed, the Dragons would face their toughest test yet, a road game against Class A Fairbury. I realized, well, we've never accomplished this before. And uh, so it, it meant a lot more as the time went on. Uh, after that, we had just a few games left, and then it became, they aren't going to cross. Now, to this point, the Dragons had been perfect. 5-0, and oh, no points allowed. But up next on the schedule, a date with Davenport, a team that was undefeated with only six points allowed to their own credit with no touchdowns allowed. It was a colossal matchup of Class C Titans and a game that brings with it bragging rights seven decades later. It was a, a community-wide experience, and, and you know, that's the thing about small town. And we did not want to let them score go across our goal line. But before all of that, the community was facing their own battles. August 4th, 1943. A devastating fire erupts in the Deschler Broom Factory, the largest employer in town. Over the next seven years, employment in the factory would drop from 400 to just 50. World War II in full effect meant every single player on the 1943 team would go on to serve in the military. It was hard times, and most of us were, came from poor families. Life was certainly much different than it is today. It gave the Davenport game enormous meaning, history at stake. I had a relation uh, that lived in Davenport and, and some that played for Davenport. We had 12 downs on defense where they were inside the red zone. But we were fortunate to win that game. The final game would be highly anticipated. Not only was a perfect season up for grabs, but that 25-0 win over Class B Superior gave the Dragons a conference title. The perfect streak would eventually hit 12, five more games in 1944, until Halloween, when Harvard scored the only touchdown to win six to nothing. Even today, emotions run high. And then the disappointment when, when Oh, that, that was it was a really a disappointment when, when Harvard Harvard scored on us. At the end of the 1943 season, Deschler would be named the number one team in Class C. 144 points scored, zero points allowed. But more importantly, they gave a community plagued by hardship pride in their hometown. And so completes a perfect season. No losses, no ties, no points allowed. And 70 years later, on Friday, September 13th, on this very field in Deschler, the 1943 Dragons will be honored as eight of the 12 living members return for the first time since that final game. Reporting in Deschler, Ian Hest, Channel 8 Eyewitness News Sports.